Hey, this is Eileen Fernandez Parker from Cultivating the Learning. Um, in this episode, I am going to be showing you how to take text that imported all of the data into one column. So if I look at cell A16, up here I can see that the entire data set is in one column and I need to separate it into multiple columns. So the first thing I'm going to show you is how to, we're going to select the actual cell that the data is in. Notice I don't highlight B through J because all of this data is just sitting on top of that. If I double click up here, it will spread that column out so you can see that all the data is just in column A. So I'm going to move it back by dragging. I select just the data in cells A16 to A29. Then I'm going to go up to the data menu and I'm going to go down to split text to columns. The computer automatically chose to split right here between the last name and the first name because there was a comma there, but I'm going to overrule that and I'm going to choose to separate everything by a space because all of the numbers that are up here in this area are separated by a space. Now there might be a few um, data sets that don't separate perfectly, but it's a lot easier to fix one or two than it is to retype all of this. So I'm going to choose space and the computer re-separated all of these uh, last names, first names, and these are ID numbers. So now I have all of this data and I can see that row 22 is off. So the five belongs in this column, this column belongs in this column. So we can see that they're off by one and it looks like this student did not have a middle initial. So all I have to do is I'm going to click on this cell, the first one that I want to be pushed to the right, and I'm going to right click and use our insert cells feature that we did in level one. And I want this time, I want this one to shift to the right. So when I click on this, everything shifted to the right. And now look at how beautiful that is. Now this set is ready to be played with. Um, right up here, I have an issue with the heading at the top. In the next episode, I'm going to show you how to reformat that.